Welcome, Cosmic Seekers. Today, we embark on a mystical journey into the depths of ancient energies, unlocking the secrets of a unique celestial activation. Picture this. The moon aligns with your sun sign, setting in motion a profound process that demands a purification of mind, body, and spirit. But it's not your typical cleanse. No animal products, no intimate encounters, just a tranquil cocoon of purity for two and a half days. As the moon graces your sun sign, a peculiar phenomenon unfolds. This isn't your ordinary celestial dance. It's a fusion of ceremonial protection, verification methods, and a spectrum of mystical tools. Water, agua florida, sage, cedar, palo santo, tobacco, and more. The moon's visibility is ideal, but remember, there are no rigid rules in this cosmic symphony. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. The journey of a seed descending through 33 vertebrae, awakening each chakra along the way. The Hindu chakra system's petals are the key, multiplied by a thousand for the lotus crown chakra, revealing the biblical 144,000 saved souls and the 144,000 twin flames of the New Age movement. Dive deeper with us as we explore the significance of 12 times 12, unraveling the mystical layers of math, gematria, geometry, and astronomy that underpin our understanding of the universal mind. Join us as we decode the feminine mathematical arts, woven intricately into the fabric of our history. Entire cities and university curriculums are designed with these cosmic rhythms in mind. Are you ready to embrace the ancient wisdom that connects mythology, numerology, math, gematria, geometry, and astronomy? The answers lie in understanding the universal dance of energies that shape our existence. Let the cosmic exploration begin. Now that we've unveiled the cosmic dance and the intricate web connecting ancient energies, it's time to harness this knowledge for our divine awakening journey. Ever wondered why Jesus was crucified at the age of 33? Atop the 33 vertebrae lies a cross, a sacred junction leading to the pineal and pituitary glands the gateway to heavenly realms where the prodigal son's return is anticipated. Picture the chrism seed, a spiritual germ catalyzed by the moon aligning with your sun sign. This seed, after a protective levitation journey, activates dormant brain cells and initiates a profound process of recycling old blood into new, unlocking the age-old secret of physiological regeneration. It's the wisdom retained by the elders, hidden right under our noses. Enter the mystical realm of Santa Claus, descending the spinal column to the North Pole Cerebrum. Saint Claustrum, or Santa Claustrum, is the brain region secreting regenerative divine gifts, manifested as mana from heaven. However, when triggered by anger and chronic addiction, it may release black coals instead of gifts, causing neuro damage. These roots of wisdom echo in esoteric lineages like Kabbalah, Freemasonry, and Rosicrucianism, all descendants of mystery schools. Those who guard these teachings often believe in their superior wisdom, making their path seem of the highest order. The colostrum activation technique, deeply rooted in these lineages, holds the potential for profound shifts not only in physiology but also in the inverted esoteric realms. This technique, centered around the 33 vertebrae, acts as a diffusion point towards healing, resonating with the 33 degrees of Freemasonry, just one of several powerful healing points waiting to be explored. Now, let's dive into the profound connection between this celestial activation and sacred figures like Jesus Christ and Christmas. As you embark on this transformative journey, may your efforts bless the divine essence of Yeshua, Mother Mary, Radha Krishna, and the intricate mycelial and mineral networks that surround us. According to ancient hermetic wisdom, our very beings are alchemical instruments capable of transmuting spiritual lead into spiritual gold. Santos Bonacci's extensive study unveils a remarkable perspective. All Gospels, or God spells, are intricate instruction manuals for both physical and spiritual regeneration. In the face of the Cabal war machine, this becomes our kryptonite, fostering extended life, fifth-dimensional living, chronic metabolism, daily vision quests, and the quantum elimination of suffering on a global scale. Hidden within the chakras, the greatest of secrets emerges, echoing teachings found in legendary books and characters. Your body, a sacred representation of the Holy Land, 
holds an esoteric science, the key to unlocking the secret of physiological regeneration. The Bible, a treasure trove of allegorical stories, conceals the sacred science of physiological regeneration. As new blood is produced, the body's mechanisms eliminate the old, toxic blood. Astrology, an integral component of ancient syncretic knowledge, brings us to the stars. Astro, referring to stars and, logos, to reason. Yet, logos, has evolved into something more mysterious, hinting at a divine source language. Pioneers like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci were privy to these insider facts, unveiling that all fields of study have their roots in logos, a mystery, a potential connection to the stars. When the moon aligns with the sun sign of your birth, your cerebrum secretes a monthly secretion, echoing the story of Jesus and his twelve disciples. This ties into the cosmic dance as the sun moves through the zodiac's twelve signs, mirroring our twelve cranial nerves, twelve bodily systems, and twelve petals on the heart chakra. It's a cosmic symphony, illustrating the timeless principle, as above, so below, that resonates through the very fabric of our existence. Now, let's delve into the profound symbolism of the, oil of the Christ. In the sacred realms of Greek, it's known as the Christos Holy Oil, an emblematic journey narrating the story of Christ within each of us. Picture this, the cerebrum, the seat of higher consciousness, secretes this divine oil derived from the holy colostrum, often referred to as Santa Claustrum. Uncover the mystical connection between anatomy and legend as we explore the region known in anatomical texts as the Saint's Colostrum, later Latinized into the iconic figure of Santa Claus. The legend of Santa Claus takes a profound twist as we recognize it as a representation of inner science. Santa, with spiritual gifts in tow, descends down your chimney, symbolizing the spinal column. But the magic lies in the differentiation that occurs in the pineal and pituitary glands, the heavenly abode of our higher faculties of awareness. Journey into the cranium, where the initial secretion in the cerebrum claustrum sets the stage for a celestial alchemy. These glands, known as Joseph Pineal and Mary Pituitary, play pivotal roles. The masculine electrical component, honey, brimming with DMT, is produced by the pineal gland. Contrastingly, the pituitary gland conjures a magnetic feminine element, known as milk. As we decipher this inner sanctum, we find ourselves standing in the sacred heavens mirrored within our brains. The celestial dance of honey and milk, masculine and feminine, electrical and magnetic, unveils a cosmic symphony within, echoing the profound symbolism of the Christos holy oil. Join us as we navigate the esoteric landscape where spirituality, anatomy, and legend converge in a tapestry that weaves the story of the divine within. The journey continues, unlocking the mysteries of the inner sanctum. Now, let's delve into the sacred landscape of the land of milk and honey, a metaphorical realm that intertwines biblical wisdom with the intricate workings of our physiological and spiritual existence. As described in the Bible, the pineal gland, often referred to as the seed of the soul, finds its connection to the pingala nerve, while the pituitary gland is linked to the ida nerve, known as the kundalini. Picture these nerves as the cosmic threads running down the spine, mirroring the tree of life. In this cosmic dance, the journey doesn't just stop there. These nerves intricately weave through the sacral plexus and sacrum, residing in the lower vertebrae, mimicking the structure of a DNA strand. In Genesis chapter 28 verse 10, Jacob connects with the divine after placing a stone under his head and falling asleep. The connection unfolds as the oil secreted in the head descends all the way to the stone, represented by the five fused vertebrae at the base of the spine, the sacral plexus. The sacral plexus, a powerhouse of sexual energy, holds the potential for transformation into electrical energy. This energy ascends, returning to the brain, akin to the Christo seed returning to heaven. Bethlehem, symbolizing the region between the solar plexus and the sacral plexus, plays a crucial role. However, there's a delicate balance, during the vital two and a half days when the moon aligns with your sun sign, the oil's vibration activates. Yet, without awareness, the risk of disrupting this sacred process looms large, be it through untimely indulgence in intimate acts or contamination through diet and behavior. In essence, our intention becomes the catalyst for dissolving the boundaries of time, 
picking up the cosmic narrative where the mystery schools left off. Join us as we explore the alchemy of intention, the sacred dance between the celestial and the earthly, and unlock the mysteries embedded in the two and a half days of lunar alignment with your sun sign. The cosmic symphony continues, and the journey awaits those ready to embrace the profound revelations that lie ahead. Now, let's delve into the mystical realm of the saint's claustrum, a divine mechanism with dual purposes. Picture it as a cosmic conductor orchestrating the transport of Christo's cerebrospinal fluid, a sacred elixir that carries the seed back to the celestial realms. On the flip side, when the body, mind, or soul faces contamination, the claustrum secretes neuromelanin, a dark substance akin to the black coal Santa delivers to the, naughty. The journey of neuromelanin is profound, it transforms into the shadow that blackens the brain tissue, symbolizing the consequences of spiritual pollution. In this cosmic narrative, the God brain plays a pivotal role. When the time arrives for the seed's implantation in your sacral plexus, an essential rule emerges, abstain from releasing precious fluids. This practice aligns with the cosmic principle of preserving energy, avoiding squandering, and acknowledging the interconnectedness of the spiritual and physical realms. Consider this as a sacred covenant, the biblical concept of tithing. Just as the Lord's root is intricately tied to the base mineral of gold, the act of giving one-tenth of the precious oil symbolizes a cosmic exchange. It's not merely an arbitrary command. It's a profound acknowledgement of the symbiosis between spiritual energy and the fleshly organism. The alchemical gold, embodied in the Christos fluid, becomes a beacon of divine transformation a journey mirrored in the very fabric of our existence. Enter the realm of ancient wisdom, where the practice known as God's Serum unfolds, a sacred ritual that empowered ancient masters to extend their lives. Living a spiritually aware life becomes the catalyst for invoking this profound process. Thousands of years ago, our forefathers embraced this practice for a reason, and today, in a world steeped in Christian devotion, we explore the transformative power of accepting the Bible as an instruction manual for our physical organism, the holiest of holy temples. Remarkably, the Eastern world has preserved and transmuted the knowledge of the exquisite chrism inherent within us. Even fundamental Hindu practices align with the elevation of Kundalini, the sequential bursting of chakras, and a disciplined lifestyle abstaining from sex, alcohol, and animal-based foods. It's a harmonious dance, recognizing that alcohol, sexual fluids, acidic diets, riotous living, and non-peaceful attitudes corrode the cerebrum's precious oil. Let's delve into the intricacies of our four brains, the cerebrum, the brain of God, the cerebellum, the man-brain, the medulla oblongata, orchestrating involuntary actions, and the solar plexus, linked to greed and animalistic behavior. Unveiling the profound connection, we discover that both the brain and the solar plexus harbor 12 nerves, unraveling the secret location of the Ark of the Covenant. The Bible's depiction aligns with our inner sanctuary, the cerebrum, with two cherubim protecting the cerebellum, housing the Ark of God, the Lord of hosts enthroned between the cherubim, Samuel 6-2. As the moon aligns with your sun sign, a psycho-spiritual germ is born and planted in your solar plexus, the house of bread, near your gut. Bethlehem, translating to, house of bread, in Hebrew, aligns with Virgo, governing digestion. Dive into the symbolic tapestry of the New Testament, where references to fish and bread unveil the celestial dance of the 2160-year zodiacal axis, the great age of Pisces opposing Virgo, symbolizing the yearly grains for bread and sustenance. Witness the convergence of symbols, Jesus' fish and the sacred bread, consumed as the body of Christ in solemn ceremonies. Now, let's delve into the profound connection between astrophysics and astrology that underlies this spiritual journey. At its core, this mystical process activates the Christos oil, nestled in the sacral plexus. As this sacred oil ascends, it triggers physical regeneration, blood recycling, and a sustained inner illumination. Picture the return of the prodigal son, the oil, reaching the cranium, illuminates the optic thalamus gland, the light of the world. As the pneumogastric nerve ascends to the 33rd vertebrae, mirroring Jesus's crucifixion at 33 years old, the frequency and vibration amplify. 
The oil, dead for three days, mirrors the lunar cycle, resurrecting as the moon exits your sign. The synchronicity with Jesus' age, the 33 degrees of Freemasonry, and the significance of 1111 unveils a cosmic pattern guiding spiritual illumination. This crucifixion, occurring at the 33rd vertebrae, aligns with the Bible's mention of 144,000 sealed individuals. The journey accelerates the oil's vibratory frequency, reaching the pineal gland, activating dormant brain cells on the god brain level. This multiplication corresponds to the thousand-petal crown lotus, a syncretic beauty echoing biblical symbolism. Practical steps during the moon's residency in your sun sign involve meticulous preparation over one to three days. Embrace veganism, abstain from various activities, and create a haven of purity. Engage in creative expressions, meditation, and fluid intake. The seed's arrival requires a holistic focus on your spinal column, solar plexus, brain, brainstem, and glands, envisioning the kundalini as the tree of life. As the thalamus fills with light during the two and a half days, recognize the Christ seed as a psychospiritual germ. Encourage diverse forms of manifestation and spread the transformative message of raising Christ within. This activation serves as a natural and traditional awakening, unlocking the profound depths of your spiritual self. Are you ready to embark on this remarkable journey of cosmic activation?